Warning. This article contains spoilers for House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 5 House Lawnmouth's Night of Kisses makes his debut on House of the Dragon Episode 5 We Light the Way, raising questions as to why Joffrey Lawnmouth has this unusual moniker. George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood book describes Sir Joffrey Lawnmouth, Soli MacLeod, as Sir Lener Valerian's, Theonate, favorite knight and companion. While this annotation heavily suggests the nature of their relationship, House of the Dragon Episode 5 verifies it amidst a forthcoming political marriage of Sir Lener to Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, Millie Alcock. House of the Dragon's Sir Joffrey Lawnmouth revels in Lener and Rhaenyra's marriage of convenience, finding the situation advantageous for his love affair with the future king consort. In Episode 5's welcoming banquet, Sir Joffrey correctly guesses that Sir Kristen Cole, Fabian Frankel, is the princess's secret paramour, and quickly instigates an alliance through an unintentional backhanded threat, assuming that the knight would see the humorous side of their relations with Westeros' next monarchs. However, Sir Kristen reacts quite differently and kills Sir Joffrey by bashing his head repeatedly until he dies. House Lawnmouth is a minor noble house in the Stormlands, with only two notable members ever mentioned in the entire A Song of Ice and Fire novels and Fire and Blood companion book, namely, the Knight of Kisses, Sir Joffrey, and the Knight of Skulls and Kisses, Sir Richard Lawnmouth, knighted by Prince Rhaegar Targaryen himself, from the time of Robert's rebellion in Game of Thrones. The decision to call Sir Joffrey Lawnmouth the Knight of Kisses appears to be due to their house's banner, which shows a quartered field of red lips spotted on yellow and yellow skulls spotted on black. While Sir Richard Lawnmouth's extended version of the name may just be down to the title being extended over time, the omission of skulls in Sir Joffrey's knight title might well be a nod to his romantic nature. Why Joffrey Lawnmouth was killed off so quickly in HOTD and how Lena honors him, evident in the many time jumps House of the Dragon has weathered thus far, Sir Joffrey Lawnmouth's death is done quickly in favor of the grander narrative. The Dance of the Dragons During the tourney celebration for Lena and Rhaenyra's wedding in Fire and Blood, Sir Joffrey dies from an injury, inflicted by Sir Kristen Cole, that renders him comatose for six days before he dies, an indirect result of Cole's spite for his former lover. Meanwhile, House of the Dragon's Sir Joffrey is outright murdered directly by an already slighted and emotional Sir Kristen, fashioning the crime as a perfect tie-in to his vendetta against Princess Rhaenyra's choice to remain the heir and marry for status. Additionally, the manner of Joffrey's demise in the show provides Lena a personal motivation to partake in the succession war and avenge his paramour's killer. Naturally, as any wounded romantic, Lena desires to honor Joffrey by wanting to name his alleged and Rhaenyra's son after his fallen love. Initially, Joffrey should have been the name of Princess Rhaenyra's firstborn child, Jockeries, but this was overruled by Lena's lord father, the House of the Dragon character Corlys Valerian, Steve Toussaint. In the end, it is Rhaenyra's third son who bears the name Joffrey, ultimately becoming an extension of Lena's devotion to the Knight of Kisses. Want more House of the Dragon articles? Check out our essential content below. Complete House of the Dragon Guide. All your questions answered where was House of the Dragon filmed. All real life was Starro's locations House of the Dragon timeline confirmed and explained House of the Dragon. Every major family missing from Game of Thrones.